Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Snowflake technology. Today we will look at Snowflake's newest feature, Dynamic Data Masking. In this video, we will first take a look at an overview of Dynamic Data Masking feature. We will review the steps involved in applying this feature and our demo setup of SSN and email ID. We will then jump straight into the demo in which we will create users, roles, masking policies and apply the policies on email ID and SSN columns. And we will also take a look at three different users and how they get to see this mask data in different ways based on our setup. Finally, we will also look at a few additional considerations related to dynamic data masking. Let's get started. In my previous video related to Snowflake data security using SecuPy, I explained about the need and how third-party tools like SecuPy can provide security for Snowflake's data. This new feature introduced in June 2020 by Snowflake eliminates the need for third-party tools to encrypt or mask the data. Dynamic data masking is a column-level security feature that uses masking policies to selectively mask plain text data in table and view columns at query time. The masking policy is applied to the column at every location where the column appears. Depending on the masking policy conditions, the SQL execution context, role hierarchy, Snowflake query operators may see plain text value, a partially masked value, or fully masked value. We can create policy once and apply it to thousands of columns across the databases. This feature also applies to any other form of data access from Snowflake, including SnowSQL, ODBC, JDBC connected applications, etc. This feature is available only on enterprise and above editions of Snowflake. In order to create an effective dynamic data masking policy to orchestrate your organization's data protection policies, you need to follow these steps. First, we create a restricted masking role called masking admin, assign the masking role to users, grant masking policy to this role masking admin, create individual or custom policies as per your needs. In our case, it will be for SSN and email ID. Finally, apply the policies to individual columns that you would like to mask. We will take a look at a detailed demo on each of these steps. Let's go over the setup of how we would like to see email ID and SSN to be masked for different roles. Our masking setup for social security number will be as follows. It will be fully visible or unmasked only for masking admin role users and everyone else including account admin, security admin, etc. gets to see fully masked social security number. Our email ID setup will have unmasked email IDs for masking admin role users. Account admin will see partially masked email IDs. Only the domain name of the email ID will be visible to them. And everyone else including sysadmin, public and other users will get to see fully masked email ID, meaning they do not get to see any email ID related details. Let's get on to the demo. In order to generate the customer's data with email ID and SSN, I used a website called Generate Data, which generates nice SQL statements, and I'm going to execute that. First, I'll create a brand new database called Finance, a schema called Stage, and then a table called Customer. And then I insert all 100 records. So as you can see, email IDs are all unmasked. SSNs are also unmasked uh, the data as is. Now we will apply the masking policies and then we should start seeing the difference. Let's zoom this a little bit. Okay, this looks good. Open, let's open a new tab so that we can keep the commands separate. Now I'll create a new user called PII user. This is the user who will have access to create and mask the data. So I created the new user. Now I want to grant this role to PII user. I would like to grant select all tables in the schema stage to uh, masking admin. In addition, I would like to grant all privileges on database uh, finance to masking admin. I would also like to grant the usage privileges of compute warehouse to masking admin. In addition, I would also like to give all privileges on this uh, database finance to sysadmin and account admin roles because we would be running the queries on a customer table using these roles. Now I want to grant the permission of um, 
masking policy so let's run this now this is a account level policy but if you want to uh, apply it at schema level only you could do the same thing with this i'll run, just run this also now we have created the basic structure uh, we should go ahead and create the custom mask masking policies i'll also grant all grant all permissions on all schemas of the database uh, to masking admin um, we should just take a quick look at our slide to see which of the steps we have covered so we created a masking admin role we assigned the role to pii user we applied the masking policy to the role now we need to create the policy and then apply it onto the column last two steps have to be completed by masking policy administrator in our case pii user let's log in as pii user to complete the last two steps now the masking admin role is already there and compute warehouse is also selected let's select the database finance and stage schema select star from customer let's see if we have the access yes everything looks good we have the email id and ssn are not masked now i would like to create a masking policy for ssn so we are supposed to see unmasked data for masking admin that is current user and uh, for everyone else it should be fully masked this is how we do that so i say create or replace masking policy uh, stage dot ssn policy this is the name i'm giving it to this policy and then ssn is a string type of input parameter and this function returns a string if the current user is using masking admin as the role then we return complete ssn or else we just return a string called masked ssn okay let's run this masking policy is successfully created now we need to enable it or associate this policy with one or more columns so here we have column ssn so i would like to apply on that so i say alter table customer uh, this is the table name modify column ssn uh, i would like to modify this column and set the masking policy called stage dot ssn policy let's run this so it is applied as um, masking admin user i should see it in clear text or unmasked data which it is now if i go back to account admin let's see what account admin will see if i run select star on customer you can see that ssn is fully masked all right so this is looking good great now let's look at uh, email id setup we would like to have unmasked data for masking admins account admin should see partially masked data and everyone else should see fully masked data for email id so let's get this done so i switch back to my pii user uh, so that we can uh, make use of masking admin to create our next policy create or replace masking policy stage dot email policy as email is the input parameter and it returns string as output if the current user has the role masking admin then we return the full email id if the current role is account admin then we then we return a partial email id only the domain name part of it but the first part of that email id is replaced with stars with this regular expression for everyone else it will return a string called masked email and then we apply this masking policy to email id oh let's run this first okay so it is applied now if i say select star from customer i should see unmasked email id for masking admin and for account admin i should see partially masked email id so let's look at that uh, current user is masked admin let's run this we see that email id is partially masked with its domain names visible and the first part of the email id is having stars great this is what was expected in partially masked email ids now let's switch the role to sysadmin and see what we get sysadmin 
finance oh i don't have the schema here let me grant schema privileges to sysadmin i also need to grant access to all the tables of finance database to sysadmin and i need to do that from account admin and not sysadmin so let's change that now we should be good and then switch back to sysadmin okay now if i run it i get the data and it should all be masked so as expected we see masked email masked ssn for sysadmin and everyone else will see the same kind of uh, masked email id and ssn so this is how you protect your data so there we go we saw three different ways in which we will see the data based on how we have applied the masking policy so that concludes the demo i would like to show you the dynamic data masking related documentation on snowflakes website that provides examples such as calling a user defined function or returning an encrypted hash value etc that's a wrap for the demo to conclude this is a great new feature by Snowflake that would help organizations data governance and facilitate applying privacy policies not just for external users but even safeguard the data at rest from internal users. This feature will also eliminate the need for third-party encryption masking and data security related products. Hope you loved learning about dynamic data masking feature of Snowflake's newest feature. I am available on social media through these mediums. You can message me on Snowflake group of WhatsApp, connect with me on Twitter and LinkedIn. You can also get the source code of all my videos on my GitHub link. Thanks for over 1000 subscriptions on my channel. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed to be updated about the latest videos that I keep adding. Thank you.